So it is just regular fries. What are these called? Just fries. Just fries? Just fries. Joel Hansen. Today we're at the Wild Eagle Saloon in downtown Cleveland, Ohio, here with Mr. Yvonne the Avocado, Matt Hannon, and the one and only Mr. Randy Santel, that big, tall man back there. Anyway, so here I do their Haga Sutra challenge. Basically, we have 30 minutes to eat over three pounds of spicy bacon, multiple burger patties, multiple mac and cheese patties, a whole bunch of other stuff, a whole bunch of other fries, and yeah, so it sounds like a lot of fun. If we don't finish, it's gonna be $50. If we finish, it'll be free. So let's have some fun, should be really good. Let's eat. Hey everyone, so here we are at the Wild Eagle Saloon. Super excited to have this big Haga Sutra challenge. Looks absolutely massive. There's over three pounds of bacon. Here with the one and legendary Mr. Randy Santel. We also have Great Mr. to be eating with Joel again. Pleasure as always. We have Mr. Matt Hannon, who's a local. We also have Mr. Yvonne, the avocado. Uh, so a lot of great eaters here at the table. It's gonna be an excellent experience. Can't wait. Let's get eating. All right, let's get this challenge started. All right, so many, many people have tried this thing. Four people have won at this location, and then two have won at the Broadview Heights location. The overall record is 14 minutes and two seconds. So we're all gonna be trying to beat that. We'll see how Mr. Joel Hansen does, but we've all got 30 minutes to finish. So you guys ready? Ready. All right, let's shut up and eat. One, two, three, boom. All right, and then yeah. along with all this, Everybody said I should have had a Fat Heads beer yesterday, which is in the Middleburg Heights where I was yesterday, but I've got a Holly Jolly Christmas Ale, so let's do it. Oh, God. Hmm. I thought it was gonna be chewier, this should go fine. Hey everyone, welcome to today's challenge. Super excited to be back eating with my good friend Mr. Randy Santel and two new friends. Well, Yvonne and me have been talking for a while, but nice to finally put a name to the face, face to the name, however that goes, and Mr. Matt. So for this challenge, we are eating this massive bacon and or pork belly, it was essentially pork belly, covered burger with a whack of fries. Best thing is this is almost keto. <clears throat> So for this challenge, we had 30 minutes to eat the thing. As you heard Randy say, the record is somewhere about 14 minutes. So again, it, they call it bacon, but it really is pork belly. If you're not familiar, so pork belly is basically bacon, but very, very, very thick. And then when they cook it, unlike bacon, which is often crispy, it's not crispy. It's like quite soft, kind of malleable. It's kind of chewier, um, definitely not fat free or calorie free, but they did a good job of spicing this up. Um, it had like, I mean, a little, little bit of heat spice, but more so just like a flavor spice. It had a lot of salt to it, definitely a little bit of like a pepper. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting to go down. You see me kind of shaking my head as I eat it, just because it was kind of chewy, and I mean, it potentially could be a choking hazard. We put music to all this, so don't feel like you have to be too quiet. So essentially, with this challenge, I mean, I wasn't going 100% speed. I don't really think any of us were. Well, anyway. There was a record, we were just gonna attempt to beat that, and that was good enough for us. Um, I was already doing a lot of eating this weekend, and so I just wanted to kind of take it easy, and this is the perfect opportunity to do so. Um, what I also really liked about this challenge is the burgers on it tasted pretty good. Again, mostly compiled of bacon, but interestingly, it also had some mac and cheese balls. This challenge is not fat free, but it is so flavorful. This bacon's amazing. Big free though, right? <laughs> it's impossible for us. If you know me, my relationship with cheese is pretty mixed. I'm not a big cheese fan, I'm not a big fan of macaroni and cheese, and I've literally had some burgers with macaroni patties or balls on them where like I felt like I was gonna gag. These ones actually weren't bad at all. Um, I'm I don't know if I'm one I don't know if I'm quite ready to say I enjoyed the taste, but I definitely didn't mind the taste and kind of mixed up with everything else. It was really nice. There's also coleslaw on the burger, which is a nice addition. We're about three minutes in. Going back so far. A lot of bacon. Let's go. 
No complaints. This was my first time being in the Cleveland, Ohio area, so it was kind of cool. I didn't get to see too, too much of the city downtown or kind of too much of Cleveland itself. We did kind of pass through it on our way to Akron, which we did a couple challenges there. Definitely check those out if you have not. Those are on my channel, including we did a big burrito challenge. We did another burger challenge. Actually, I think I did two of them. And we did an excellent omelet challenge, which was just outside of Cleveland. So it was cool to kind of see the city. Definitely nice to see this part of Ohio, and I definitely will be coming back because I want to see a little bit more of this city. I want to explore the area a little bit more. And hopefully, as I understand, there are definitely a few more food challenges in the area for me to do. I forgot, there's a bit of a spice to the bacon and I'm tasting it now. It's very flavorful and very rich. Not calorie free. Often people mention or comment something along the lines like, oh, I wish I knew you were in X area. So I always post my travel updates on my YouTube community tab. Um, if you're subscribed with the bell notifications on, you should get a notification whenever I post or make a post. And alternatively, you can go to my channel, click on the community portion, and then you'll have full access to my YouTube community tab. That's where I for sure post all my travel updates and my travel announcements. There's also certain situations where I do it on my Facebook and on my Instagram, generally for kind of my larger or bigger travels, um, which are more well planned. Some of my travels are very, very short notice, and hence those will more likely just go on my YouTube community tab. However, I also will put them on my Facebook and my Instagram as per I can. If you're not following me on Instagram um, or Facebook, both links are in the description to my Facebook page, which is Joel Hansen Model vs. Food, and my Instagram, which is Model vs. Food. Be sure to follow those as we have lots of cool things coming your way. I'm being more active on my Instagram, and it is definitely going to be worth your while to check that out. With that, everybody, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Let's see if we can get a new record, see if we can all finish as well. And at that, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. We are just over five and a half minutes in. Joel is well ahead of record pace. I'm trying to keep up. I've got most of the bacon done, and then it'll be time for the burger patties. Almost seven minutes in, super crunchy fries. But everything's pretty tasty. I like the bacon. No doubt. Really? A wise man once told me that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's right at eight minutes. Let's go, Joel. Hell oh, yeah, brother. Alright. 
Surprisingly good. Uh, my cheese, like cheese and me, don't always go along, so that was it was really nice. I actually really like the bacon; it had a, a really nice flavor and spice to it. Definitely lots of it. So if you like bacon, this is definitely for you. The rest of it was great. The fries were very, 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 very crispy, so your mouth will feel it. But hey, it was great. No complaints there. So these gentlemen are just finishing up now. Keep killing it, guys, and we all got new records coming your way.
That's a Randy toy. How much you not be mean to me? <laughs> <laughs> it's December. I just wanted you to enjoy your beer. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Susan. Well, I know. It, uh, I remember my beer. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to explain the chemical of that beer and the makeup of it. But when you do it like that, it uh, the air and the CO2 all come together and they make it fluffier. Uh -huh. Yeah, the carbonation yeah. releases. It's less calories if you don't have all the air in it. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta smile and go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't count. <laughs> ah, yeah. Twenty minutes and fifty-eight seconds for Matt. Great job on finishing the Haga Sutra challenge. Now we got three down and we got one more to go. Yvonne still got just under nine minutes left. Tons of time. So let's go on. Just a mouthful left, man. There we go. Right at 29 minutes. So great job to Avocado. What'd you think of it? Very good? Yes. Yeah, that bacon was awesome. You guys already heard what Joel said. Matt, what do you think? Bacon was great. I was, wasn't expecting that, you know, a little spice to it, but uh, it was really good. Yeah, I was expecting it to be chewier, but it went down really well. So all four of us got the win. You guys saw our times earlier on, but we are all going to get, we are each going to get our $40 meals for free. We're going to get sweet t-shirts. We'll get mugs to take home, and we'll each get our names and photos up on the Wall of Fame here at the downtown Cleveland, Ohio location. They've got another Wild Eagle Saloon in Broadview Heights. But big thanks to all these guys for doing the challenge with me. Yes. Thank you so much to all of you guys. It was what win for you? 79? This is 104, I believe. Okay, I was way off. <laughs> now, what about you? 134, and then what about you? 82. Yes, and then I've been doing it a lot longer, so it was 821 for me. But big thank you to everybody here at Wild Eagle Saloon in downtown Cleveland, and thank you guys for watching. Hi everyone, so Randy, nice to meet up again, my friend. Oh no, it. yes, great to eat again. How, uh, how'd you like the challenge? I really liked it. I was worried about the bacon just because of how thick it was, and just bacon in general is usually chewy but it was so thick that it was actually really easy to eat and it had a high amount of flavor, so definitely I enjoyed it. Low in sodium. Yes, yeah, definitely low in sodium. The mac and cheese balls were great too. I enjoyed it all. Congratulations, Randy, on the win. 821 and I think 104. So with that, everybody, Randy, it's a pleasure as always. Look forward to meeting them next time. Yes, we'll eat each other. <laughs> I was gonna say we'll eat each other again, but uh, yes, we will meet again. <laughs> we'll eat a suit. We'll eat with each other again soon. I think that's what he had to say. Amen. Right? So, yes. Awesome. Till Merry Christmas. Until next time. <laughs> Thanks, Randy. <laughs>
Let's start over with Yvonne. Introduce yourself. My name is Yvonne Mendoza, the avocado. I have a win in all 50 states. He is the second person to accomplish that feat after our friend Dr. Ramsey the Mantis Hilton. I was the third. And then over here, you guys know Joel, but go ahead. Mr. Joel Hansen, all the way from the land of Canada. Today we're going for win number 104. Yes. This is my first time eating with Yvonne. I've eaten a couple challenges with him. Then I've done a couple challenges with Matt here too, but go ahead. Matt Hannon, uh, Matt eats a lot on Instagram. Uh, this will be trying for win number 82. Wow. Yes, there's two locations of Wild Eagle Saloon. There's another newer location. I think they opened in 2018 in Broadview Heights, but we're at the downtown Cleveland, Ohio location of Wild Eagle Saloon. We're taking on their delicious looking, this will be the most bacon I've ever had in one sitting, but their Haga Sutra Burger Challenge. We've got 30 minutes to finish everything here, each of us. There is three pounds of bacon, so gonna be lots of chewing. There are two burger patties. There's pepper jack cheese, there's coleslaw, and then there's two mac and cheese balls, or fried mac and cheese balls. And then in addition to all this, we've got one pound of their battered fries. So 30 minutes to finish. If we fail, it's gonna be $40. But if we win, we'll get our meals free, we'll get sweet t-shirts, we'll get glass mugs, and we'll get our names and photos up at this location on their wall of fame. You guys ready? Ready. All right, let's get this challenge started. It was four, this one, two, Broadview Heights. <laughs> 